90 Day Fiancé Before the 90 Days has a brand new entry in its list of controversial cast members, and I think Tiger Lily Taylor's going to be the next person to be cancelled. Tiger Lily and her husband Adnan Abdel Fattah star in Season 7. Tiger Lily from Frisco, Texas is a single mom of two who took a leap of faith and followed her heart, which led her to Jordan. Tiger Lily met Adnan from Ammon on social media and dated him for four months. Tiger Lily was going to get married to Adnan once she got off the plane and saw him in person. To me, it sounded like a train wreck waiting to happen, and six episodes in, Tiger Lily and Adnan's storyline has been exactly what I'd expected. The cultural clashes and age gap aside, it's Tiger Lily who's the bearer of red flags in this relationship. If her two failed marriages aren't a sign, then it's all the things that I've listed below. Tiger Lily and Adnan may have celebrated their first anniversary together in September 2024, but it's not a relationship that's going to last very long, and the reason for that will be Kourtney Kardashian's doppelganger. Tiger Lily wanted a man 19 years younger than her. Tiger Lily prayed to God for a younger husband. Among the other things that make Tiger Lily problematic, I feel the age gap between her and Adnan is one of the most concerning. Tiger Lily was 41 years old when she came across Adnan's profile on Instagram. It might not have taken her long to find out he was just 22 years old, which makes him closer in age to her kids than he is to her. However, it didn't stop Tiger Lily from trying to romance him. She also didn't think it was a problem when they made plans to marry each other on the first day they'd meet. Adnan may have been immature because of his age, but Tiger Lily had already been married twice. She shouldn't have known that Adnan's worldview would be restricted because he'd never dated anyone before and wasn't exposed to American culture. Adnan also wished to have five children and Tigger Lily didn't tell him it wasn't possible due to her age. I recently came across Tigger Lily's story where she was justifying the age difference. She was inspired by a podcaster who also married a man 19 years younger than her. Tigger Lily wrote that her prayers were definitely answered when she met Adnan. Tiger Lily is making shocking accusations against her ex-husband Darren. Tiger Lily insists Adnan isn't controlling. I surely felt like Tiger Lily was seeking sympathy in her debut episode. She had a sob story ready to tell viewers and make her seem more likable, and it involved her claiming her husband was controlling. When Tiger Lily met Adnan, it was revealed that he was the real controlling one who asked her what to wear and who to talk to. However, Tigger Lily recently told a fan that Adnan isn't controlling at all, and that she knows controlling. Tiger Lily's ex-husband might never be able to tell his side of the story on the show, and she took advantage of it. Darren is Tigger Lily's second ex-husband. Tigger Lily never mentioned Adam Azulay on the show. When Tigger Lily was narrating her story about how she had to marry her baby daddy when she became pregnant at 31, she conveniently failed to mention that Darren was her second husband. According to Intouch, Tigger Lily filed for divorce from Adam Azulay in June 2011. She never spoke about the man or why her marriage ended. I suppose she would have if her first husband was the problem in the marriage, not her since she seemed to be interested in getting as much sympathy as possible. Tiger Lily's hiding more than a few secrets, and I feel they are quite dangerous. Tiger Lily is careless with her finances. Tigger Lily didn't even sign a prenup. Tigger Lily has been flaunting her wealth from the word go. She walked into a jewelry store as she introduced herself and bought an expensive watch just because it was exclusive. Tiger Lily wished to make a grand impression on viewers. I do think she wanted to look like the richest cast member the franchise has ever known. There was no need for her to get her hair done on the plane or before going to see a famous archaeological site where she was going to keep her hair covered. All she wanted to do was show off, but it ended up looking like she was frivolous. Tiger Lily manipulates her service providers by calling them her friends. Why doesn't Tiger Lily have any real pals? When Tiger Lily had her bachelorette party in the U.S. before flying to Jordan to marry Adnan, she revealed that she wasn't allowed to have any friends by her ex-husband. She claimed that her service providers such as her life coach, her hairstylist, her aesthetician, etc. had become her friends. In that case, what was stopping Tiger Lily from making new friends after she got divorced? I think it could have been easier to make a friend in four months than it is to make a husband.
Tiger Lily's personality will be such that she doesn't make a good friend. However, she knows how to pay people to be her friends. Since she calls them her friends, Tiger Lily can make them dance to her tunes. She's taken her hairstylist and esthetician on her trip as her glam squad, but she's also taking them along to her honeymoon where they weren't needed at all. I think she planned to blame her tardiness on the glam squad when Adnan called her out for taking four hours to get her hair done. She could easily tell him later that the glam squad created the delay and not her. Tiger Lily is making Adnan look like a villain. Is Adnan really the bad guy here? Tiger Lily is acting like she's not aware of the rules of Islam because her source, who is Adnan, hasn't told her about them. If I were in Tiger Lily's place, I could have simply googled the laws and customs that affect women in Jordan just so I could be prepared while visiting the country for the first time. All one needs is an internet connection. However, Tiger Lily wanted to make Adnan look like the bad guy when he told her to cover up or wear loose clothing. These weren't Adnan's rules, but what was expected as per local and cultural norms. Tiger Lily is selling a sketchy social media course to fans. Tiger Lily is being accused of scamming. Tiger Lily flaunts her wealth on the show, but she refuses to divulge how exactly she makes an income. She laughs at rumors that she got a settlement when she got divorced in Texas. She also claims that she makes money through her smart investments. Still, Tiger Lily has a very sketchy-looking Instagram page called Make Money with Tiger, where she wants followers like me to buy a course where she will teach them how to start making money using just a phone. It doesn't surprise me that she has comments like Keep Scamming Girl from Piper Lauren on the post. Tiger Lily's new money-making gig is odd. Tiger Lily thinks she's already a reality TV superstar. If one sketchy-looking money-making gig wasn't enough, Tiger Lily roped in Adnan for a second one. She owns a clothing brand and has been trying to promote it ever since she started her reality TV career. I came across their stories where they urged their followers to buy products from the store so they could get a handwritten card from the couple on all October orders. Tiger Lily seems to already have a superiority complex and thinks she's an A-lister even though she's just a few episodes old in the reality TV universe.